An exciting new initiative in public education is coming to our community thanks to a commitment from educators and the support of the local business community. You have, you have the full support of the Chamber of Commerce. You have the full support of many of the major employers here and, and, and other employers who are going to go out and raise some more money so that we hope to get some other schools started on down the line. But again, I, I applaud your cur courage uh, for, for trying this. Applaud you for, uh, for for taking this on. I'm here because I want to see what what you guys go through, what what you learn. Um, I think I can learn from it, and I hope that my children have an opportunity to partake in this program too. The following organizations have already made a commitment to the Leader and Me program: Gladfelter, Adena Health Systems. Chillicothe Ross Chamber of Commerce, Litter Corporation, RLS Recycling and Disposal, Charles and Stevens Family, Ross Chillicothe League of Women Voters, USEC Incorporated, Home Investment Services, Lansing Insurance Agency, K and C Educational Associates, Horizon Chillicothe Telephone, Tomlinson Insurance Agency and Preferred Staffing of Ohio. On June 10th, 2010, at the Ross County Service Center in Chillicothe, Ohio, the Allen staff began their journey with the Leader in Me program. I was at uh, my national convention down in Raleigh, North Carolina last August, and uh, Stephen Covey got up and, and was talking about this program that they had going, and he introduced uh, Muriel uh, Summers, I think it is, uh, the, the principal at the A.B. Combs uh, School, that you probably have all seen the video now, seen her, but uh, then she introduced uh, one by one uh, the, the kids uh, at her school at each grade level who got up and talked to us about the seven habits and, and us being like 2,000 people in this room. And these kids got up in just total confidence uh, with uh, no notes, nothing else, and just, just going right at it, you know, talking to us about being proactive and and uh, beginning with the end in uh, mind and sharpen the saw and all the all the uh, the seven habits and it was just truly obviously uh, struck a chord with me and so I brought it back to uh, to my board. Things that I think as a staff we decided that uh, we need to move forward and um, and try to find some ways to uh, develop some leaders and have a unified uh, way of doing things in our building. If, if we said we've got a new program for you, you would be absolutely justified in saying, oh gee, just what we need another program. Okay. It's really more of a process um, of establishing a lens through which you look at everything you're already doing. You the seven habits and quality tools. That's the, those are the cornerstones of our new school building. Okay? Principles of effectiveness of leadership at a personal level and the quality tools that are necessary to create a quality organization. Boom. That's our, that's our foundation. Okay. Most hotels have satisfied customers. We want emotionally engaged customers. Whole different level. You know, they say we want them to love us. Okay. So how does that translate to a school? You want parents that are out there recruiting for you. We, you want them saying, "Oh, you need to move here because that'll that'll enable you to put your kids in our school." Okay, and you're going to love that. I right. say so that's the kind of thing we want. We want those customers that are out there recruiting for us and cheering for us. And, I think that the Leader Me program is an outstanding uh, addition to our district uh, so that we can impact the culture in a positive way at Allen Elementary. And our hope is that after we have success at Allen Elementary, we can carry this over into other buildings and the students that will have these skills that they learn uh, through the, the uh, development of the seven habits, uh, they can share this with other students and other teachers and we can begin uh, to continue to partner with the Chamber of Commerce so that our entire district uh, can use the seven habits in their, their daily life at each of our Chillicothe City Schools. Thank you. What excited me when I first uh, talked with your principal, uh, Jason, was that he was absolutely convicted that, um, that this was already a good school. And when you look at the possibilities of taking a good school to become a consistently great school, that excites me. And I think that's exactly where Allen is. If we think about what your history has been, and it's been a really 
significantly um, accomplished history, one that you should be proud of. And then you think about, gee whiz, if we can just leverage what we're already doing well and add just a few key small trim tab kinds of things that can really take us to a whole new level so that those that percentage of students that represent the real names and faces of those who aren't meeting standards, uh, we're in a position to really leverage what we're what, what our resources uh, are now to really reach out and really pull the bottom up, if you will, by taking those those students who historically have not done particularly well and taking them to whole new levels of personal accomplishment by virtue of this, this process, which really establishes an awful lot of relevance to the education process and makes students owners of their own education. And so those who have kind of struggled with understanding why they're here and why education ought to be important to them, I think it's going to become crystal clear. So whatever that percentage is, and I haven't seen all the data from, from Alan, but I think whatever that percentage is of those students who have not met or exceeded what is determined by the state of Ohio to be the minimum standards of, 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 of uh, accomplishment, I think you're going to find that that is going to diminish considerably. And that excites me. And not only will you be able to, to maximize your, your opportunity to reach out to kids who sometimes have kind of fallen through the system a little bit, but you're, able to, you're going to be able to do it consistently. And that excites me. I think our workshop went very well today. I think the staff was very positive and receptive to the ideas that were presented. I look forward to being able to implement it uh, at Allen Elementary. I think it will definitely help uh, our culture, uh, give our students ways to not only be excellent students but excellent uh, individuals. So we're looking forward to that and uh, excited about getting things started this fall. Thank you. Eleanor, what are your thoughts on the presentation of Franklin Covey today? I thought the presentation was very well done. It was very informative, um, very positive. And I like the positive message of it. I think it will be really interesting to see how each person implements it. It was very engaging. Our speaker was excellent. Um, he kept us very involved and kept our attention. Um, I'm looking forward to trying out this program and hopefully taking it throughout the district. The Leader in Me is transforming the culture of schools all across the United States and the world by using the seven habits. Children starting in kindergarten learn about taking responsibility for themselves, setting and working toward goals, working as a team, and taking initiative. These are qualities that future employers value. And so the students at Allen are getting the chance to get an early start in training for our future workforce. To see and hear more about the Leader in Me program at Allen Elementary School, please call today for a student-directed tour of our building at 740-774-1119.